Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly how we can easily calculate stream power index using DEM data. I will try to explain all of details from beginners to advanced level. And I hope after completing this tutorial, you are able to do calculate stream power index for any study area using DEM data. So first of all, this is the DEM data. First step, we just need to convert the projection from geographic coordinate system to projected coordinate system. So for that, just click on the catalog and go to the project and transformation. You can see the roster. So project roster, double click. And then simply input the raster file. So in this case, this is my raster file. I simply input. And then just um, put save the file a specific place. I put the file name, suppose project dem. You can put any name. And then I put the select the projection. So for my study area, projected coordinate system is a 30 degree north UTM zone. Just I choose uh, 38 WGS 9084 Northern Hemisphere 38 degree north. And then OK. Well, then just click on the OK. So now it creates another rust DEM data. And this DEM data represents the 38 degree north UTM zone projected coordinate reference system. So you can find out this type of things. So now I just remove it, it's not need. Okay, so if you check it, the projection, just click on the properties and check the source. Now we find out this is the projection. This projection, uh, UTM zone 38 degree north. Okay, so this is the projection coordinate system. Okay, so now after doing these things, then we need to follow the second step. We just need to create the field dem. Okay. So for the field name, just click on here and go to the special analytics tools. So you can check these tools, special analysis tools. And from here we find out one option. It's called that uh, hydrology toolbox. So this one hydrology. So first of all, create the field name. Just double click. So just I uh, import the dem data, projected dem data. And I put the file name, suppose fill them. You can put any name or you can also save it for a specific folder. So I skip the default and then I put the file name is the fill them. Just click on OK. So now it creates the fill them. OK, done. So you find out the fill them. So this is the fill them. After that, we need to create the flow direction. Same process, just click on the follow direction and input surface raster, just call the field name. And I put the file name, suppose follow direction. And in this case, we put here that default D8. Okay, it's just keep the default, it's optional, it's not mandatory, just a okay. So let's create the follow direction. Okay, so this is the follow direction we find out. After that, we create the follow accumulation. Just click on here, follow accumulation, and input the follow direction raster. So, follow direction raster I call, and I put the file name, suppose follow accumulation, you could put any name, and then okay. So, now it's create the follow accumulation.
okay so now you find out that follow accumulation layer so after that we need to calculate the slope in percent tense so for that click on the catalog and here you find out the one option it's called the special analysis tool so you find out the surface just click on here and from here click on the slope and create the slope from uh, fill them after that uh, choose the unit i put this thing. it's a slope fill and then put here the percentage rise okay. and then click on the ok so now it create this slope in percentage okay find out this type of slope in percentage look like that so now we try to apply a formula so for that just find out that map algebra yeah and then click on the raster calculator so now i just keep a formula about that stream power index and you can also use the different types of formula so in this case i use that uh, one formula you can also follow it also there is no problem or if you want you can also use the other types of formula it also okay so let's go try to apply this formula so for that first of all just we need to choose here uh, lawn yeah, this is the lawn just a click after that just call the follow accumulation so this is the follow accumulation layer just a double click then plus plus 0 0.001 okay so this one and further put here that multiply multiply with uh, slope percentage just click on the slope okay it's a slope fill i put the name but it's a slope percentage represent the slope percentage and it's divided by 100 then close the bracket and plus 0 0.001 and close the bracket so this is the spi okay so just i simply rename it you can put any name i put this file name as pi and then okay so now it's create this type of things so now further if you want you can simply click on here and go to the properties from the properties get to the symbol oz and you can easily choose the different types of color suppose i want to choose this type of color and apply and okay so we find out this type of color okay so basically a high positive value in this time it's indicating about the erosional power okay and also no low negative value it's indicating about the depositional power and zero value or near to the zero it's indicating about that neutral so you can easily identify this type of red color indicating about that high erosional power as well as this type of blue color we also find out this some blue pixel so this type of pixel indicating about that Deposition, depositional power okay so using this way you can easily create the stream power index okay i hope this tutorial also help you so further you can also use the spi for the different types of analysis so today is no more thank you for watching that stay happy stay safe